thesmartlocal.com And his favorite camera more. They could have just they could have just put a bra inside actually. Yeah, I should put bra inside. <laughs> The second episode of Coffee Break, um, where we talk about current affairs and other stuff. Uncle, come here. 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 Recently, uh, there have been videos circulating around of like Niam Poly students lap dancing at their orientation camp on like people, yeah. and then like NUS, uh, somebody report that oh the guys strip naked at the beach or something. Uh, like. Then some girl go topless, hold oh. a hold hold what? like this and, oh, to try and form the longest like clothesline. If any of you attended this kind of camp? Because yes. I have never, I and I don't understand why you can go to that extent. I've attended like many, 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 many of these camps like, in uni. Poly, but, like, attended poly, 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 I don't know. Poly, I yeah, one. Joyce is the the yeah, like queen of orientation. We were camps, both yeah. at the same camp and we didn't even realize until. Oh, really? But the thing yeah, is, during my my time, right, the oh. it's quite tame, right? Like, no, but okay. like some things are like low key uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, got one time for my camp, right? They had the girls lie on the floor, then the guys had to like push up on top of them. Your crotch toe area. Was yeah, then like, like crotch toe. Lucky crotch. my <laughs> lucky my group got one guy very strong who can do push up, so like confirm one fall on the girl that can. Yeah, but why do they need to do this? Like I don't understand yeah. why yeah. this activity helps this build this bonding. To make yeah. People, like, no, I, funny and comfortable. But I think it just is very unnecessary. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna disagree with all of y'all. Wow, why you are okay. the one? No, no, because like, because like, okay, orientation camps, right? I feel that like right now the culture for orientation camps is very, very different. A lot of times, right? A lot of these complaints, right? Don't stem from these very extreme examples. You know, it's these extreme examples are very newsworthy. From a parent's POV or anybody who's not yeah. from school and not in the camp, right? They are not able to see any value in that. Mm, but yeah. if you are, if you are the GL or the freshie, right? You do realize that some of these things are like rituals or traditions yes. which are passed down from the previous batch of alumni mm. Mm. which adds to the spirit like. and I think that it's the same for night walks some people will debate against like using actual incense paper but other people who are not religious would think that it it's just, just a prop right atmosphere. it's just a prop yeah so the whole idea is consent I feel mm. if you are uncomfortable then you just sit up mm. like yeah. what she did correct but yeah. the thing is also there is peer pressure so it's very hard to mm. just say like i uncomfortable then i sit up mm. like and then where do you draw the line because it starts with like things like say like all this stripping yeah. and like mm. more non-vg stuff right but then it can escalate all the way like you know how the scdf uh that nsf died because of the hazing thing mm. his mm. ord ritual he's supposed to go into the well then yeah, yeah. Like okay, I just I just want to ask you. So you're you're mentioning like about consent and peer pressure, right? Mm. So, who do you think it the the the, the fault lies on? You know, whether not even consent, whether it was the, the 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 people who organized the camp, or is it the person who succumbed to peer pressure? I feel like it's camp culture actually, mm. because um, based on my time in poly, right. Every camp right will be super cliquish, which is like which is terrible la. Like they after the camp, you know, they will just hang out with each other every day. Yeah. Like and they were really like, oh, we are a clique. They will call themselves mm. a clique. And then the thing is you will do whatever to because you are new in the environment, right? Mm. You want to belong. You will do whatever it takes to be part mm. of that la. But peer pressure doesn't mean you cannot say no either. Yeah. So yeah. who's who, who do you think is at fault? But when you have like no. a seventeen year old impressionable mm. kid. Yeah. Then how do you <coughs> justify? Yeah, it? And, and I also think that like drawing back to this like the NUS mm. like situation and the, then these cases right, um, what we are discussing right now are the <coughs> the activities that are organized yeah. right. So even in those situations, those are the things that you can still opt out for mm. whatever you don't have to yeah. your pressure and whatnot. But the incidents that were highlighted are things that activities that were not organized mm, yeah. by But this kind of thing like very hard to stop uh. like <coughs> if the girls are like woo then like, it already happened then you just as a GL you need can like okay okay can you pull back your camp? <laughs> and then, no. technically you're off duty already. Yeah. And technically this is not part of the camp. So it can it can be just any like random <coughs> outing between friends yeah. at the beach. Yeah. 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 So it's difficult like, So it's just like your eyes are a bit off. Yeah. So to <laughs> penalize the camp committee for hmm. something that it's happens after the camp. Right? It's out of their control. control. It's a bit out of their yeah, control. This one is more yeah. of like the person. She's a bit too YOLO. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know the hype of a camp, some people just get overexcited. The energy. And then yeah. they want to yeah. make themselves they want to be like, like out there. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, because some people they feel like, okay, 
it's since it's a camp, I need to be extra sporty. Yeah. Like, yeah. Am. But they are to be best camper. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but this yeah, maybe throughout the whole camp she uncomfortable with everything. Then here she decides to Okay. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Let it go! <laughs> uh, but okay, in general, do you think uh, these university camps and school camps are good or helpful, useful for students? I, I think they're fantastic. I think for sure lah, <laughs> because I think there are people who <clears throat> struggle to you know naturally like integrate or make friends. Mm. So this is a good way to you know help you get settled. And then mm. when so you do, that when you start school proper and you have to focus on your studies, you don't have to also worry yeah. about mm. making friends or fitting yeah. in. And university, <coughs> it's the, the schedule is very different. Yeah. So you have different classes with a different group of people. It's very hard yeah. to... It's not like you have one fixed class where you can bond with your classmates. So <coughs> I think camps do play a very big yeah. part in forming your social circle, mm. which is very important for a first year. Yeah. Like. I okay. think what's most important for people joining uni camps right, eventually, right, is that like uh, to come with a bit of an open mind and like to enjoy themselves to the point whereby I mean certain hazing activities are a bit too hardcore you don't want to, don't want to participate that's fine mm. but being I, but part I of think I think that, that that point that you said mm. the hazing thing like yeah. being too hardcore right that's something that should be monitored mm, I think that's the thing that can be yeah, controlled yeah that's why I got the drones man. yeah definitely but like, <laughs> but like <laughs> should be controlled like pre-event yeah. mm. I think yeah. it's really informing people like trying to shift the mindset a little bit <clears throat> because if that's not changed then these things are so good yeah. to be happening mm. I'll be sad if they decide to like stop camps yeah, yeah. Like, just cause of these few people mm. who like want to like draw brows it's, yeah. like, it's like 99.999% of the camp no problem right mm. yeah. and suddenly the yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why my time, like my cam, right, the most uncomfortable thing for me was just mess dancing. And a bird Ooh. is a. Oh, it's a new phone! Have y'all heard of IGTV before? Yeah. Yes. It's so annoying, the notification's always there. Yeah, yeah. It's click. all over the IG right so now. So basically, it's just uh, Instagram's new app where you can watch like vertical, like vertical long form video so it can range up to one hour mm. and there's no ads so when you open the app right it starts playing the videos from like people you follow already i think ig is just becoming like know, I a lot of Wait, things in one things. single app yeah i think isn't it like so not a little web ads one Mm, oh, yeah. have it, uh, after a while. Actually, have you actually started using IGTV? No, eh. no, no. Even hardly. No, I think because it's just starting out. A lot mm. of the videos on IGTV are just people testing it. Yeah. Mm. So it's all a lot of like random, random. videos. That's yeah. the, this is my first video. No. Just try yeah. it. Out. Yeah. From what I've seen so far, it's also like a, a lot of people have framed it as like a uh, them competing directly with YouTube. Yeah. Because yeah. YouTube is the only like long form, other mainstream long form uh, yeah. media platform lah. Mm. Uh, but I think. Mo- a lot of people going over to this platform are really just re-uploading their YouTube content there mm. in like vertical. No, yeah. not even vertical. Eh. Some of them just, are yeah. Like, yeah. Oh. So I, I find it very weird. And the other okay for me, right? I, the main reason why I wouldn't use IGTV for now is because you go on Instagram, right? So they can quickly flick through things, mm. right? Yeah. You don't want to, to be committed to mm. one long video for you mm. know what I mean? I think it's a pretty good thing. Mm. I mean, obviously now it's just starting out, but a lot of profiles on Instagram, they have a very strong following, a lot of people on Instagram, mm. that might not necessarily have a YouTube account, yeah. or like, mm. you know, other platforms like Twitter or yeah, whatever. Yeah. So mm. this is a very good way for them to kind of expand what they already yeah. have and yeah. build upon... Yeah. So this is know, actually very influencer friendly. So mm. now they don't need to start a YouTube channel. It's the same yeah. reason why yeah. even though <laughs> they completely ripped off Snapchat's function, it still works well. Because people yeah. who already have that following on IG, they don't want to build a second following on Snapchat. Mm. Yeah. It's yeah. the same logic. I think at first everybody thought that, you know, like, I, uh, I still prefer Snapchat. But in the end, yeah. everybody just went over to IG No one uses Snapchat. No, I, I think yeah. for now, uh, people just haven't learned or spend enough time researching and understanding how to fully utilize and optimize this platform. Mm. So that's why they're just doing that. Yeah, but mm. what, what content do you think people will be posting up on like IGTV? I, I think for now, people will just like post whatever they are posting on YouTube mm. and then they just put there. Like for creators lah. Mm. And it might evolve, but then it could also go the way of Facebook stories and people just like not use Yeah, it. true. Because Facebook stories is just, oh, I IG story did then I just like, yeah. soon be and go and like, yeah. upload on Facebook story. I think I think once someone, someone comes up with the right strategy for this kind of uh, IGTV content, mm. right, then we will see a whole lot more of that and then we will see start we we'll see it start to evolve. Like, if mm. not, it will go the way of Facebook stories. Yeah, no, nobody use all. I can only see this as being beneficial to influencers, eh, to be honest. Yeah. Because if I'm just like a, like, um, like myself, <laughs> like, <clears throat> I would just use IG stories right? because there's no need for me to post content beyond mm. 20 minutes. But let's say if I'm 
a beauty influencer, right? And then I have like this vlog on YouTube which nobody watches because my YouTube only got like 100 subscribers. Mm. Then I cannot sell to advertisers. Oh, I can just yeah. do like So I can condense that five minute vlog into like a one minute thing mm. without it having to be truncated mm. on stories. Mm. Yeah, and then now that it's a new thing, the app will prioritize that so there will be more views than if mm. you were to post it on like a regular. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Then you can also tell advertisers mm. I got 50,000 followers on IG instead of I got 100 subscribers mm. on YouTube. From a, like kind of like a creator's perspective, it's very, very exciting mm. because like whenever a platform introduces something new, mm. then everybody, is, it, it, the, the race immediately starts and everybody mm. is trying to compete to see who can come up with the best ideas and best like content mm. specific to that platform. Mm. Yeah, so I, I'm quite excited like, yeah. I, if I'm not wrong, I think we will also be experimenting yeah. with some new content. Exactly. Yeah, on that platform. Wow. That platform. Do y'all think one yeah. hour is like too long? Yes, yeah. I think yeah. it's, it's too long. long. But, but I don't think like, I will shut off. Yeah. Yeah. I think one hour is just like as good as limit. saying like you can post as long as Whatever you want. You want. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it's the upper limit. I think it's very cool. I feel like putting a limit, right? It like makes you more creative. Like for Vine, right? It's six seconds. So yeah. in that six seconds, ah, you yeah. have to be funny. Yeah. But I think when something is too long, right? You kind of like it's just zone out. We upload this whole thing to the. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Nani. The play. Okay. Is it when you have too much money? Oh! <laughs> oh the? my god! Oh my god! <laughs> wow. This is not gonna fit in the place. It's gonna the awful police car. Yeah. <laughs> awful is like. Hey! So basically, this topic is about O Bike. You all know it, right? Yeah. O Bike is a bike sharing service in Singapore and it is. Uh, they actually, have died it's died. stopped already. Uh, but yeah. they. They say that it's because uh, they, it's very difficult for them to comply with certain LTE regulations. Lah. Mm. But if you all look around the internet, there have been a lot of articles citing other claims. Mm. Yeah. No, before we even continue, like, do you all use O-Bike? No. no. Once. Yeah, four for life. Because I got a the, the deposit. <laughs> yeah, I, bro. Yeah. <laughs> deposit? No, bro. Yesterday, like, was... I was walking to work, right? And then one of the interns was saying, like, we were talking about the O-Bike thing. And then she was like, eh, then my dis- deposit how? Then yeah. they never return it. Yeah. So they just left without giving the these people, the like O-Bike their users, their mm-hmm. deposits yeah. No, they said that you can use it on Grab cycle or something. No, right? but the thing is, Grab, because O-Bike has left, right? Uh. The partnership with Grab, Oh. But you can use Obike overseas. If I'm not wrong, Obike has been has stated that actually this bike sharing business right is not very profitable. No, the thing is all these bike sharing businesses they don't make money from the bike rentals, ma. They make money from selling your info. No, yeah, but the thing is that they, yeah. they were also saying that oh really? Yeah, yeah so when you sign up, <laughs> <laughs> when you sign up, then you give your details, right? Really? Uh, they sell to all the China companies and all that. It's the data. So that's where the money should data be coming from. Yeah, so that's where they earn money from. The more you know. Dying. But like, I, actually I never tried the bike sharing service because every time I try right, the bike is broken. Oh, like yeah. I always go there and scan it, like cannot use no, it. depends on the neighbourhood one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If like, like if you issue now, then cannot one. Pongo are broken <laughs> one. No, actually so far okay. Like so far, really? I've, I've only used Ofo lah. Yeah. yeah, so already. Yeah, and Ofo seems to be pretty consistent lah. Yeah, like, like I don't know if Ofo, does Ofo does do sponsors? Hmm, I don't know. They eh. do, I but know, the eh. people. Uh, anyway. The people they sponsor like don't really use the yeah. bike, sun, right? Oh, oh really? Yeah. So mm. yeah. I will cycle every day. Eh. I also. I we day. can cycle yeah. to the Kopitiam. Yeah. No, but the thing to is, this Kopitiam. When I use Ofo, right, I never had to leave any deposit. Eh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I also Ofo. never. Yes, can yeah, you just right? pay the credit card? Mm. And you just access the card, then after that, they will just deduct. Yeah, I mean, at one point, I even managed to get a two month pass for like $1.50. Yeah. That's insane. And yesterday, when this same this same piece of news was launched right Ofo also launched this piece of news saying that there's a warehouse sale I think they got too many bicycles <laughs> they sell you their bicycle yeah so oh you imagine like you buy an Ofo bike then you go and zoom then like you just paint oh la. damn then you'll be one of those people very cool eh like, then when you're in your backyard painting that time people think you steal eh? yeah that's <laughs> the Ofo warehouse sale I don't know, because I'm scared later a lot of and people go and take <laughs> No, but you can customize it, I guess. Hey, $15 is not bad. I don't want people like, be messing with my bike. Since bike sharing is actually quite a new thing that's been introduced in Singapore, right? mm. what do you think of like our ability to adopt this culture? Adopt. Yeah. Okay, I think it's yeah. not bad. I think it's very good. Like, yeah. Today I walk in and the auntie just passed me right in the back. You, see like, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. see like kids all the way to like, the elderly using these yeah. bike sharing services. Like, and I think it's something that we have 
welcome with open yeah. arms. Even like migrant workers around my area, mm. they yeah. use it to go yeah. to different sites. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's just so convenient. So for like yeah. short distance yeah. traveling, it's actually very convenient. Mm. Yeah. Generally, I think there was a teething period at the start where people like you know inconsiderate. Like unsure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but then now I think people are more considerate. Mm. I think it encourages people to be more active also yeah. because you don't have to have the burden of like, this is my bike, I have to lock it here, later I have to come back and take it. Mm. A huge gap, right, is that all this bike sharing, there is very little education. Yeah. So there was once where I parked my Ofo below the bridge, right? Then I got a notification from the app saying like, well done, you have parked this at the right location and we are going to give you like some merit points. Oh. Then I'm like, what the heck, I didn't even know that like, this is the right location. Uh. Oh. So How about your house downstairs don't have like yellow box or that, man? Mm. No, I still remember when, it, when, when, when the bike sharing just started, right? All these parking zones or designated parking yellow boxes, right, were not a thing yet. Mm. It was so fresh. And like this is what it ties into to Joyce's like uh, uh point on like lack of education because yeah. people who the OG users or like people have been like, hey just use only yeah. they didn't they never <laughs> knew right that such a thing existed. Actually, yeah, I, I do not I didn't know. Exactly. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. I just where oh. I see other bikes. No, yeah. which is okay, which is something funny. In London they have these like city bikes. I now they are called something else already, lah, but mm. they are designated parking mm. spots mm. Yeah. for you to pick up the bike and 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 drop it. Yeah. So it's not like you can anyhow just chuck the bike anywhere. Yeah, so yeah. That, that, that makes perfect sense. Actually, it's very I don't know why we don't know that. Europe. Yeah. yeah, it is. Paris, Rome, all that they all have. Yeah. But it's a cultural yeah. thing. It's yeah. like, for example, in Japan, right? So many things flow smoothly in Japan because they see, like they prioritize the big picture and everybody's yeah. like, yes, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. but for us, we prioritize ourselves. Mm. Yeah. But it's good that we have all these sharing things coming in because without all these there will be no breakthrough. Yeah. yeah. So the teething period yeah. is a disaster. Cannot have nice things. Like, a viral video, there. people throw down. Yeah. 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 Throw, yeah. throw down the... No, the yeah. is a pile up one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But these days, it's significantly yes. less. I think it's just not trending. <laughs> it's not Maybe. trending anymore. But I think Koreans it also like, nice in, insights this like, need to be a little bit more considerate. Yeah. 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 But actually, what are your thoughts on like, this whole Singaporeans are going to get their deposits back? Like, oh, I think this is unethical. It's very really irresponsible. It's like those spa like close down, then you sell they sell you the package. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you cannot take back. Yes, yeah. It's but, like last time the go on tour agency was like there, right? Mm. But it's sucked up law. They also no money pay you. Right? Who gonna pay? Yeah. So? I wonder who are all the silent warriors who help us like put the bikes properly. Actually, yeah, there was, a, yeah, there was a guy volunteer, right? Yeah, he, he actually started a group of volunteers. He went around by himself. No, he no. drove a, a pickup, right? Mm. And then he go and rescue the bikes. Oh wow. my god! They put them in their rightful positions because yeah. you fools don't know how to yeah. drive. Yeah. You fools! <laughs> this guy can use so metal nice. straw also. Yeah. <laughs> Did anyone get it back? That's nice. <clears throat> no, but you you mentioned yeah, that like, some people. Yeah, I saw some people on IG managed to get it back. Like mm. people who did not update the app apparently. Oh. oh. Not that I got a lot of savings, but I always think like, what if the bank? The like, bank, right? Just suddenly. Oh. Also like. You all will be glad to know that uh, the Monetary <laughs> Association of Singapore has insured all your money in local banks, uh, for up to I think like fifty thousand. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but if I only have one dollar, what's the buy? You get fifty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag ignorance is bliss. <laughs> yeah. So if you like, if you got market crash, right, your money is insured unless you like damn bloody rich then. Oh, good luck. Then this one is the low no SES. Like, Have you all tried the scooter before? Oh, yeah, they are right. e-scooter. Sure. Oh. It's, it's fully implemented in NTU already. Got cars also, uh, the blue something. Mm. Oh, that one like fails, yeah. But they're damn expensive. No, yeah, you yeah, rent car also yeah. cheaper. You must park at a specific location. Yeah. Or oh, a yeah. specific charger. Yeah. So when the car them ugly then. It's very small. Sharing, uh. And you must know the exact time you finish yeah. using the car. Oh yeah. But what Teleport. do you think of all these like sharing services? I mean, at the end of the day, I think the purpose is really to help the environment also, right? Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think it's good. But because, Singapore hard. Yeah. Uh. I, think, I think the thing about it is that Singaporeans, right? I hate to say this, but uh, majority of us are not a culturally advanced bunch enough uh, to appreciate the concept of this. Mm. So much so, they just take it for granted. Mm. And then they're just like, oh, bike can take can yeah. throw, yeah. can just use, not mine. Yeah. You know? I don't understand, like, a lot of don't have C1 eh. Yeah. No, they take, no they take out the seat so they can replace their own. Yeah, but like, why would you do that? Because of, because Singaporeans Selfish cannot have nice things. Okay, so thanks guys for watching. If you have any topics that you want us to talk about, uh, let us know in the comments down below. If not, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you want to buy us coffee, please uh, send to our address. You all know where we are. Uh, watch our other videos over there, other episodes of Coffee Break. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Cheerio! <laughs> 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 <laughs>